Greetings, Entities and Guardians. My name is Hyperheims, and welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break. So, with this new update with Soul and Cookie being released, something that also happened to get released is a brand new, probably not new, but also probably new for all I know, Trophy Race map. Which, as you can see here, check this plumbing uh, stuff out. You can see that uh, it may not have the yellow bubble around it, but that's because I just did a quick check on it. But that's because if we check down here, we can see that the brand new map is Yeti's Ice Cream Mountain, which I don't remember if it is the new map or not. Uh, however, I honestly, I probably should do like an off-camera like True for one because for some reason, it lowered my rank to the point where I can't access crazy mode. And that's something that I really want to do. So maybe I might do that. But I, what I do want to do is I still want to show off like the one-star mode because I do want to also at least show off crazy mode. But that may take a couple of trophy races. I'm hoping that I can get through it though. I don't know, it shouldn't be too hard. But uh, of course, since the new trophy race stuff came out, that means basically your ranking reset because, you know, new seasons and stuff. So that's probably fantastic. But anyway, basically how these work is uh, there's actually two... How do I say? I run through the new trophy race map two times, as I mentioned before. One on the lowest difficulty that I have, and one on the highest, which so far it's going to seem like it's just the three star. If I'm able to get that unlocked, which I need to get the diamond three, which means I need to run through probably a couple trophy races, which that's going to be just great. But whatever. Basically, since this got released, I still need to focus on it, which is putting fun, but that's eh, whatever. Anyway, let me just tell you the quick differences between all the difficulty levels because uh, that'll be probably fantastic. But. I'm, what am I saying? I'm just going to go for pain and torment as always. One star is just completely normal. It's vanilla. There's nothing changed. It's just completely the normal level that nothing uh, is different in. You will just run in it like pure vanilla. Pure vanilla cookie confirmed. Uh, next is two star where basically everything, everything is still the same except there is a speed increase by 10%. So that means your reaction time to whatever jellies you need to collect or whatever obstacles you need to dodge is going to have to be a little bit more faster for your tiny little fingers. Three star is where things get crazy. Literally, because the difficulty says crazy mode. What is crazy mode? Well, basically, Dev Sisters, Cookie Run, whoever the pleb runs this place, takes the same exact level and adds new differences to it to make it even harder than before. It could be adding new obstacles, it could be adding new pitfalls, it could be differing the jelly path, it could just be adding a butt ton of new things just to make it so that it's more difficult for your life. And that's only unlocked at Diamond 3. Now, if you want to go even harder, there's the one you can unlock for Rainbow 3, which is 4-star, in which not only does the game still keep its crazy mode, but it has the, the, the game speed increases by 20%, so now you need to be even faster. Basically, it's a whole one-fifth of a way faster, which is terrifying. So, good luck with that one. But if you want more luck, and how about you try 5-star, which is only unlocked by getting to Master 3, where basically, not only does it keep crazy mode and 20% speed increase, but it also adds the trophy race specific obstacles. As you can see, it does show a very slight thing that's a light bulb, and what happens when you see that is that the stage just suddenly, it, it fades away for a quick second, completely going to black, then fades back. Which is terrifying because you need to find out where you need to dodge, where you need to jump. And if even if you're blinded for a second, especially with a 20% speed increase and a fast cookie, good luck. And that's terrifying to think about. Now also, I'm pretty sure since the level is new... Actually, okay. I haven't played this level when it first came out. However, it does give me a recommended cookie Kami, which is actually good. Because when you first play through the level, when it gets uh, released first, like for the first couple of days... Uh, there's no generated Kami because it needs to gather all the data for like the high scores and stuff. But now, since I waited a few days, apparently uh, Crowberry Cookie and Vagabond Cookie are the best cookies to run with in here. At least for two star. So, uh, yeah. I'll go ahead and get, I'll give this a gander. I'll give one star a gander. And uh, I'll need to train up a bit because uh, that'll be fun. And by fun, I mean torment. I've said that three times, but I can't drill it into your head enough. You know, what I was going to do is I was actually probably going to run off camera until I got the three star unlocked. However, I probably need to be familiar with the map first in case if I randomly get it selected. So that'd be pretty nice. So let's go ahead and do that first, which I guess it was what I was implying first. But I just wanted to do it as a little surprise. But I need the training anyway. So let's do one star. Yeti's Ice Cream Mountain with both Crowberry Cookie and Vagabond Cookie. Why not? I don't know why these cookies in particular are going to be the ones chosen. But you know what? As long as it gets me the good amount of points to actually hopefully win these things, I'll take whatever I can get. Because honestly, there's probably way better cookies that you can run with, but that most likely costs money. Especially if it's like, uh, I don't know, like Abyss Monarch or a, a Sugar Swan, Sh Sugar Swan with the magic candies. That'd be fantastic if that was the case, which is absolute sarcasm. Because honestly, I know, I think you can purchase uh, one of uh, Abyss Monarch's magic candy things. Uh, within the shop, which is pretty good. But what about that Sugar Swans thing? I don't know. By the way, who do you all think is going to win Cookie of the Year? I was going to do a video on it, but I thought it was kind of like, I don't know, niche. 
and by that i meant like it really didn't make sense because i feel like it was kind of more like a situational thing like i know i could just do a format where like oh i'll, I'll have a clip of like every single cookie that i vote for which would be it would make it pretty difficult but uh i don't know i'm not sure if it would really matter uh, and to be fair i think it'd just be better just you know to just casually vote on my own time like i'm not going to show every single voting decision maybe i could do it i haven't i done it one year i think i did do it like one year i think but then I thought it was like, eh, it's too much effort. And I'm not saying like I'm trying to be lazy because I absolutely am. But I don't know. I just prefer just to do that on my own off time. Because it's not like a fun event that I can try and speed through. It's just more like, oh, have everyone fight over their own opinions. Because that's going to be real fun. Because I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of people fighting. Because I guarantee you it's either Abyss Monarch or Sugar Swan winning. And personally, I don't know about y'all. But my personal vote is probably on Sugar Swan. Now, if it was anyone else, I'd probably vote like... I don't know, but I personally think in regards to importance, I feel like it would make sense for Sugar Swan to be winning, just because, like, you know, you know, it's one of the, like, how do I say this? One of the most important legendary cookies in regards to uh, Cookie Run in general. Not even talking about in Break or in Kingdom or any sort of those games, we're talking about in general. Like, I would say just as important as, like, Dark Enchantress, because she's basically the complete opposite of a Dark Enchantress. You could probably also give that role to Millennial Tree, or Priya Vanilla. I don't know, but... That's just my personal take on it. And now the fact that she's finally playable, along with, you know, having some other aspects, I gotta be honest, I think it's just fitting. It would probably make sense. But, eh. And besides, I think she was one of the last cookies that you could meet in the, uh... Actually, wait. I think Abyss Monarch was, was too, ironically enough. Uh, because I think uh, it was in seventh, the 7th anniversary, yeah. Uh, the 7th anniversary gift boxes and stuff. Uh, you was one of the last ones. I think you saw Sea Fairy... And was it Sea Fairy Moon? I don't remember who exactly would. I think it was Sea Fairy, uh, Fire Spirit to represent the uh, hot and cold. But there was also Abyss Monarch and Sugar Swan. I think that's who it was. I don't know, but you know what? They're legends at the end of the day, so I really can't question their uh, abilities. So I don't know. Just vote for who you want to vote for, because at this point, I could probably not care. But I, well, well, I will say, oh, I almost messed that up right there. Uh, Good flashbacks to my Vagamon cookie facts. I gotta make a shorts video tomorrow because I actually have some really exciting news. Uh, I, I, I'm trying, I think maybe tomorrow or today I'm gonna work on it. I just wanna get these oven break videos out first because, uh, you know, they're important. But let's just say uh, one of my friends, I'm not gonna spoil anything until the video comes out. It'll be, be out on like short form or TikTok form or either or. But one of my friends decided to, uh, let's just say... My, you know yellow plug basically my um, mascot that i use for like my shorts and other things and stuff like that like you've seen him in the uh, kick run uh, uh, analysis and theory videos for whenever i focus on a kick run of a break update let's just say he's gonna get a bit more high quality but that's all i'm gonna say about that i'm not gonna spoil anything else but uh oh it's so cool and when i oh i just really want to gush more about that but they aren't released yet maybe this video won't be released yet by the time i finish this but uh i don't know still you know you can never be too sure all right, this is gonna be my last skill active. Can we get 800 million? That's a lot of points, honestly, if we get that done. Uh, come on, pick up those jellies, throw them up in the air. Boom, boop, bada bit, bada bit, boop. 800, oh my gosh, that's, that, that, that should at least bear me like an S rank. I'm hoping that does. Like, that's so many points, nearly 830 million. Jeez, I swear, if that's not an S rank, I'll be surprised. S plus, thank you so much, game. I mean, it only was on the one star difficulty, so obviously it makes sense, but. Okay, still, regardless, I gotta probably level up uh, Crowberry's pet if I'm gonna be running like this. And I don't think I have anyone's costumes. Uh, I don't think I have a single costume for Crowberry. No, I do not. And I don't think I have a... Do it. Does, Va Does Vagabond Kiki have any costumes? You should, shouldn't you? Yeah. Okay, you do. I just don't have it. I'm sad. All right, well, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and run a bit off camera to try and get this flooding three star. Then I'm gonna show off that to you. And uh, you get to see me panic live on camera all right it took me a few races and uh, basically like an hour later only just because i decided to take a break because i did like three videos uh we've got the third part of this thing done and by third part i mean uh level three unlocked so we're gonna go ahead and run that and uh i think i need do i need to reset my copy yeah i do because i remember i ran with vagabond though is it different now that it's three star this is what i'm curious about uh no i don't think anything changed okay well, anyway, let's go ahead and set it to you, Yeti's Ice Cream Mountain, which, I gotta be honest, an ice cream mountain sounds delicious, and I don't even think people would die there if they were to uh, get stuck there by getting frozen to death. 
They would die there because, uh, di diabetes. I'm just gonna say that right now. Uh, there's a oh, oh, okay. I was like, oh no, I missed the thing. But no, uh, think everything for the magnet. Anyway, what was I gonna talk about? I have no idea because I literally just turned on the record. Okay, this is a bad start. Okay, let's do this again. All over a plumbing again. I don't know why, I just feel congested. I didn't even eat yet. Like, uh, the only thing I had today was like a leftover cheeseburger from a fast food place. That's literally all I had. Um, maybe I had a- oh, no, I missed the magnet. Oh, now everything sucks in the world. I mean, at least I'm surviving. By the way, how did I fail that one jump? Like, what was I supposed to do there? Uh, oh, I was supposed to get on that. Okay. I think? I'm correct on this, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, now I'm doing better. Okay, now we can get back on track. Alright, back to this. And let's hopefully not fail. You know, I don't want to go on a rant mode here, but like, I was exploring a little bit of Twitter. Uh, and I gotta be honest, for some reason, I've just seen a lot of complaints about this update. Not with like, the actual story and stuff. It's more like with the characters like Stolen and like, Strawberry Cream. Like, there's people saying that you can't be mad. Like, I I don't think I want to use any specific words because I feel like, you know, oh, can cancel culture is so popular plumbing nowadays, I can't say nothing. But uh, you can't make fun of Stolen Cookie because of her behavior, because of one certain aspect. And also, there's people saying, oh, uh, strawberry cream shouldn't be this gender. Like, what? And I'm pretty sure there was another thing I wanted to mention. Like, to be f you know, you know the stupid thing? Every, every single person, like, not every person, obviously not, but, like, people are complaining about those two new cookies. How has no one complained about the coffee cookie costume yet? You're telling me they're gonna complain about these small little details, but they're not gonna complain how they brought back the coffee cookie event, which is cool. Good news about it. You can get more coffee cookies, which is nice. Bad news, it's so much of a worse chance to try and get the coffee cookie costume because there's only one for the pet and one for coffee cookie. Like, why is no one making fun of that yet? If, if anything, that's the thing I would make fun of and I would be upset about. Maybe people aren't making fun of it because, you know, it's probably just a normal dev searcher thing that they do where it's just normal. So, obviously no one's going to poke fun at it because it's just the dev searcher's norm. But come on, out of anything to, like, be mad about this update for, be mad about that. And I'm pretty sure there was another thing that, uh, 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 people were upset about, but that just slipped my mind. But it was those two, those two main things that, like, I just did not understand why you would be upset about. Just enjoy the plate of food that's served onto you. You're not, you shouldn't complain about what you have. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't think this update's perfect, but obviously it's, like, way better than the things that we've gotten in the past. Need I remind? Yo, Gurkha. <laughs> I don't think I need to mention that one, like, like, What's, it, what's an evil word I can use? Death defying? Or would that be depth defying? I don't know. That's that's the uh, well, the blacklisted word. We'll go with that. Because I don't think a single yoga, yogurt update has been good. I should have probably jumped a little bit further there. Uh, bam. Bong. Hit those gongs. Let's just chill back. Let's relax a little bit with Vagabond Kiki. I'm entering my rent mode. And I wanted to make a short today, but there's a lot of oven break videos I want to do. I want to make a video, you know, trophy race, cookie mastery, meet the treasure. Uh, there's that one basket event. I want to see if I can finish up the entirety of the uh, the stolen cookie storyline. The stolen cookie and strawberry cream story. Which I know it's just going to be one part of it, but there's also going to be hard mode to that. So that's going to be fun. Uh, so maybe after I'm getting, I'll am getting, i get done with this, maybe I'll record a portion of the cookie mastery. Or i get started on that one uh, event. Uh, with the, uh, baskets and stuff where you gotta do the- Because apparently I've completed missions in that, but that's just because I've been running off camera and stuff and have been really focusing on doing the videos and stuff. But, I don't know. I also gotta remember, I gotta complete my guild run. Okay, don't jump there. You just get those for free just by walking. Uh, I gotta complete my guild run because there's only, like, nine hours left on it. And I gotta make sure I run in every level. I gotta make sure that I beat my rival. Oh, I didn't get a perfect on that. Nor that one. Dang it. Try I gotta try and be on my A game. It's a struggle trying to, uh, get exact hits on this because, well... You know, by the way, am I gonna get? Oh, I got 850 million. Wait, 860 million points on that. I gotta be honest. Other, other than the first slip up that I had, that's not bad. S plus. Thank you very much. Hopefully, I should be more capable of doing trophy races now. But uh, oh, oh yeah, there's this event because uh, I did a big goof. Uh, am I just claim? Uh, uh, I I got a, cheap, a a box. Okay, wh what? Okay, pocket strawberry. What? That, that that ain't new. What do you mean? Maybe maybe it's because uh, I'm playing on a... Oh, no, that doesn't make sense. What? Maybe because I skipped the animations? New first place winner? 
Okay, sure, why not? You know, I'll take it. That's a cool event. At least I got to show that off. Anyway, now I'm gonna end this video because, uh, I got other stuff to make. So with that being said, if you enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my Kicker Run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, down in the description, you will see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the Kicker Run YouTube set for absolutely free. You'll see a link to my Discord server called the Hypebeast Hub, and you'll see a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel. But above all else, I will see you, Entities and Guardians, in the next video. Hail the Hypebeast.